outfit fails and how to fix them is what I'll be talking about today. My name is Trish and in 2020, I started over from scratch on my wardrobe and my personal style and it literally transformed me. I am a much more confident person now, able to bring my best self into the world. And because discovering my personal style and learning how to dress well has really improved my sense of well-being, honestly, I really had to share that with people. So that's the reason I started this YouTube channel, to share all of the things I've learned since starting over on my closet in 2020 and discovering my personal style. So if that sounds interesting to you, I would be so grateful if you would consider subscribing. This channel is moving towards the 1000 subscriber mark. It will be its first milestone and I would be so grateful if you'd be a part of that. So today I'm going to show you three outfits that, in my opinion, are complete fails, just a total miss. And I discovered that, frankly, by looking back through video footage. So this is another useful thing about having a YouTube channel. I not only get to see myself in a photo or in the mirror, but sometimes it's really valuable being able to see yourself through video in that kind of dynamic three-dimensional format. So one thing I would recommend is if you're unsure whether an outfit suits you or not, or is working for you or not, take a quick video of yourself and it will give you a much better idea of what the outfit actually looks like as it moves on your body. So having said all that, let's get into it. I'm going to show you why these outfits don't work at all in my opinion, and we'll also show you the alternatives that I believe are much, much better options. For the final outfit, I actually have two different outfit solutions. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's go. The first outfit I want to talk about is this one that I put together for a summer barbecue. I'm wearing a silk shirt from Everlane that I would have spoken about in my previous videos. 100% linen wrap skirt from Oisho that I'll link in the description box, espadrilles from Next, and a black tank top from And Other Stories. I like the colour palette in this outfit, black and white. Everything fits me properly and I enjoy wearing these fabrics. They're all natural fabrics. So why is it that I feel that this outfit doesn't work? Well, before I go into why, the first thing I should say is that I think good outfits are all about balance and harmony and this outfit I feel doesn't have it. Why? Because there are too many knots <laughs> in this outfit and let me show you what I mean. So I've knotted the silk shirt in the front. The wrap skirt obviously is knotted, that is part of its design, that's how you tie it. And the espadrilles have a knot in front of them as well at the ankle. I've added a bag I've made a bag out of a silk scarf here. In order to create a bag out of a silk scarf, you guessed it, I had to knot the scarf. So the knot motif is there no fewer than four times and it's simply far too much and it makes the outfit look unbalanced, unharmonious and a bit too, far too much effort went into it and it makes it look bulky on my frame as well. So I've made a few changes here. I've swapped out the espadrilles for these leather sandals from Arquette. I have, of course, untied the silk shirt, but the tank top is cropped, so it still gives me that definition at the waist that I was after, but the difference is that now I don't have that added knot from the shirt competing with the knot at the front of the wrap dress. I've kept the little scarf slash bag because I like it and I think the color palette goes with the outfit in general. Um, and you know, these are quite small changes, but they resulted in an outfit that I felt a lot happier wearing. I felt that this was a lot more balanced, a lot more harmonious. It was more comfortable for me to wear then for those reasons. So overall, I'm really happy with how these small, small changes created a, an outfit that was just more balanced and easier to wear overall. Next, I want to talk about this date night outfit. And the reason this outfit doesn't work, in my opinion, is because it makes my legs look short. Now, I have short legs in proportion to my overall height anyway, so shortening my legs further is absolutely not something I want to do with any of my outfits. It just makes me look disproportionate. So the reason my legs look short is because number one, the dress cuts me right below the knee, which is already quite a risky dress length for my body type. And I've compounded that then by adding flat, contrasting colored, high vamped shoes. 
that cover most of my foot. So what that does then is it takes my foot length out of the equation and I'm left with this very short length of leg between the hemline of the dress and the top of the shoe. So how to fix this? Well, I want to keep the dress and blazer combo because I think that is a lovely combination for a date night outfit anyway, but I will swap out the dress completely. So I've swapped it for this black silk dress from Lily Silk. I'll leave this one linked in the description box for you as well. And I love this dress, not just because it fits really beautifully on the body, the fabric just skims the body in a really flattering way. And it also has a side slit, which of course will draw the eye upwards and again, give me the illusion of a longer leg. I've also swapped out the sandals instead of the brown slides. I'm using these black leather sandals from Arquette. They have narrower straps, so you can see more of my foot, which again allows me to lengthen the look of my leg just that little bit further. Overall, I think this is a much more flattering outfit on my particular body type. I think the previous outfit could work on people that have longer legs, for example, but on me, I just didn't feel that it worked very well. I'm much more comfortable in the second version of this outfit. Again, I've kept the blazer because as I said, I think a dress and a blazer is a really lovely combination for any type of slightly fancier um, occasion. And this blazer is a beautiful one. It's from The Curated and it's their newest color. So it's called Stone. And I have been wanting to get a blazer from The Curated for a long time, but I already had a gray blazer. I already had a navy blazer and um, and the taupe color that they put out, which I thought was absolutely beautiful, but I thought it was too warm for my skin tone. So when they released this kind of cooler toned stone color, I jumped at it. I immediately pre-ordered it. And honestly, I've been wearing it ever since. It is so luxurious. It's lined in 100% silk, so it feels so, so comfortable on. And I'm finding that it goes with absolutely everything. And I think it looks beautiful with the dress here. If you're finding this video useful so far, make sure and let me know in the comments below. It really helps me decide which content to create for you. Finally, I'll be talking about this smart casual outfit. And once again, the knotted shirt has let me down. I knot the shirt to give definition to my waist, but in this example, I think it brings far too much bulk and attention to my midsection, having the opposite effect of what I intended. Paired with the trench coat, it's just too busy and too much. So how do I fix this? So if you remember at the beginning, I said that I had two fixes for this outfit. The first one is good. And the second one, in my opinion, is even better. So starting with the first one, then I have ditched the trench coat completely. And of course, I've unknotted the shirt and I'm allowing the cropped tank to do the waist defining for me, which works a lot better than knotting the entire denim shirt over the whole outfit. I've swapped out the slightly more structured formal bag for this Nike crossbody bag. And overall, I much prefer the effect of this outfit combination. The other improvement alternative for this outfit is again to ditch the trench coat. And here I've replaced it with the blazer from the curated that you saw earlier. I've ditched the denim shirt as well because again, it was just too busy to have it knotted in the front. Here, the all black base with the blazer on top is really simple yet effective outfit, I think. Um, it still keeps the smart casual vibe because of the casual base layer and the formal blazer. And the colors are really complementary as well. The black and the stone just are a match made in heaven, I think. And this is just another example of how this blazer can improve pretty much any outfit. If you found any of this helpful, then hit like on the video. It really helps the channel out. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye.